Hey everyone, my name is Scott Dugan, and let's take a look at Mobius Filter by Isotope. Now this device is based on the Shepard tone, and the Shepard tone gives us the illusion of a pitch always rising or always falling and never reaching a final destination. It's infinitely rising or infinitely falling. Now Mobius Filter does not use pitch, instead it uses filters. And it sounds like these filters are always rising or always falling. And it does this while maintaining full frequency bandwidth. All right, so before we take a listen to Mobius filter, let me show you what I've got going on. I've got a very static monophonic synth. And this is just looping over and over again. Very monotonous. Now, if I activate Mobius filter, we have movement. It's interesting. Something's always happening. Now, we have different filter types. We have faker and peak. And I really wanted you to visually see what was happening with these two filter types. I'm going to turn off my pitch generating oscillators and turn on a noise oscillator. Pull up a spectrum analyzer. And now let's take a listen. You can hear that white noise being swept up. And these filter types have a positive and a negative gain value. If I switch to peak, we only have positive filter types that are adding gain. Again, in faker, we have filter types that are adding gain and attenuating at the same time. All right, enough with the white noise. Let's bring back our pitch oscillators here. All right. So we have movement next. We can change the direction from up to down. We can sync this to our host. Right now, we have a speed of one bar. We can change that to different subdivisions. Or we can turn off sync host and just give it a speed. We can also pause the movement. And up here in an XY pad, manually change the center frequency and the resonance. You can also blend between dry and wet, make it mono, or we can offset the filter in the left and right channel and give us some stereo width. One really interesting thing that I discovered is that I can automate the center frequency and the resonance even while it's moving up. So I'm going to hit play and then activate that automation. So now we have something really interesting. It went from this to this. Now let's take a listen to Mobius filter within a mix. I have a couple ideas here, along with the chord that we were hearing earlier. Now, this is being sent to reverb and a delay. And this delay has a gate on it. Audio will not pass to that delay effect until I activate a loop. Let's hear that. OK, second loop here, more ideas. We have an ARP. And we have a kick drum. That reverb and the ping pong delay, along with all the other signal, is being ducked by that kick drum. Let's take a listen to that chord without Mobius filter. Even though we have movement, It's still kind of stagnant underneath all the other ideas. Let's turn it back on again. And now Mobius Filter is creating movement and making it even more interesting to listen to. And that's Mobius Filter by Isotope. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.